Hey guys, Sim is Dim Gaming here, back with a brand new video. I was making the Lone in the Dark 2 video, but then I found out from watching a couple of my favourite streamers on Twitch, there's this game called Dark and Darker, and it's on an alpha test playtest currently. Long and short, Dark and Darker is basically, in my opinion, Escape from Tarkov, crossed with Dungeons and Dragons. Coming from someone that's actually played D&D, this is kind of in my head when I was younger how I wanted D&D to play out or how I envisioned it in my brain. Now I know you're probably thinking, it's nothing like Tarkov or Dungeons and Dragons, but hear me out briefly. Obviously the Dungeons and Dragons parts of it, the setting is very much like something you would see in a dungeon area of a Dungeons and Dragons story. Then obviously you have your classes like Barbarian, Cleric and Fighter, they're also very D&D like. Also, the medieval setting and the monsters. Again, something you very commonly see in Dungeons and Dragons. Now, moving on from saying D&D constantly, the Tarkov side of this game is the fact that it has loot mechanics and it's quite a hardcore game. So you have inventory and you have equipment you can equip during game and in your stash. Those are very Tarkov-esque. You have the more obscure things like movement speed and stuff like that which resonate quite heavily in Tarkov. So all of your gear weighs something and it can slow you down etc. So that's another Tarkov element which is in this game. But enough about the similarities from other games. This game is really really fun, it's really hard and you feel like you've accomplished something as soon as you get out in one of the portals. I say as soon as you get out, what I actually mean is if there's a high probability you are literally not going to get that far. I've died so many times to random things in this game, whether it will be the AI, someone invisible as a rogue, I walk past them and they just stab me in the face four million times before I know what's going on, I've got killed by getting stuck on something, or spike traps. Fuck spike traps. <laughs> We got him! Haha! <laughs> got that motherfucker! Uh, let me hear you a sec, hold on. <coughs> oh god, I'm getting stabbed from behind, dude! Oh, you killed me, I think. No, you didn't. That's fine. Oh, good, you killed him, good job. Get beat him this way. There he is, hello! Hey, bud! I missed ya! Oh, Fucking nice. bitch. Someone's coming in. This way. Yeah, he's right here. Wrong house, motherfucker! <gasps> <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? That was the funniest shit! Now we've got armor, we think we're top shit. This is where we die easy. <laughs> and you are. Not, not me, I got a fucking invisibility potion. I'll fucking use that to get the fuck out of there. Ow! Oh, oh fuck, don't go that way! As you can see, it can be quite brutal. I knew nothing about it, I just literally watched a couple of streamers play it and thought, you know what, this will scratch the itch. And it does in a lot of ways. It's really, really fun. Bear in mind, it is an alpha test game, so there are a lot of clunky bits to it and things like that. It could also be that I'm not used to the game at all. As I said, I haven't played it at all, none of the previous tests or anything like that. I decided to go against my normal grain, which is a guy with a bow, I normally like, in this case, the ranger class suits me to a T, but I decided to go cleric. Cleric basically has a blunt weapon, a shield, can wear some plate armor, and I can also do holy damage and be an off healer. Really really fun, totally against the grain, I'm not used to blocking stuff a lot, so I basically died because I just didn't block rather a lot. As the cleric, you can fight, but you gotta leave it to the fighter and the barbs basically, otherwise your easy pickings because you're kind of slow. So once I figured out that I need to be more of a support class, I did a lot better. But realistically, I switched over to Ranger quite quickly. Push in. Yep. He's dead. Got one. Nice. You just step back. I'm dead. I, I hit him. him. I got him. I got him. I got him. Cool. Just come behind me. It's a fucking rogue or an archer. Oh yeah, you're dead, bitch. 
You're fucking dead, bitch. Back up, back up, back up. I need heal. I have no healing items left. And I have a speck of health. I just killed the fucking guy. Hold on. Uh, take this, take this. Just you didn't drop it. anything, bro. I did, it's a bandage. Oh, okay, got you. Isn't the guy in here? Dropped him. Dropped him. As he was using the portal, get in this portal, get in this portal. I just dropped him. There's a bunch of shit in this room. Yeah, there's a portal oh, right here. Dude, I fucking I killed the one. He was coming around with chain lightning to finish you off, and I shot I shot the wizard. And then to end the video, I basically at this point of making this video, I played about 11 hours of the game. I played it all in a duo with my good friend Obscure Edge. I haven't done any solo, so I don't know what that experience is like. But for an alpha test of a game like this, I think this has got a lot of promise. I'm really looking forward to the next time I can play this, whenever the next alpha test phase is, and I recommend you guys check it out. If you haven't already, go and wishlist it on Steam. If you're watching this video way in the future, after this playtest, at the time of me making this video, definitely go check it out. But yeah guys, as always, this is Simbizdim Gaming, and I'll see you in the next one. Dropped him.